welcome back to Tower of Babel. We're tackling now group one. Tower A, the bridge. Uh, these first three towers in this group are going to be teaching us uh, some of the other functions of the grabber. And this level you can see, you need to get the zapper to follow this path along, but as you can see there are lifts that aren't playing along. But there are these two devices here, either side of the grabber, the force up and the force down. Only the grabber can activate these, and the force up there makes all the lifts go up. And obviously the force down does the opposite. The main thing to remember with the force up and force down is that they only move unoccupied lifts. So we're going to activate this one manually. We also have these nice weather effects now. As these videos go on, you're going to see and hear a lot more of these environmental effects. I think this lightning is quite impressive. Tower B, we have an alien reference back to the old Fraserinos. I don't deliver that quite as well as uh, Harry Dean Stanton, but you know who would. So we've got a line of fixed zappers here. We need to get our grabber to the end where there's a Klondike, but in front of the grabber is a freezer. You can see what it does, temporarily freezes all enemy robots, so this is harmless. And so you hear that sound. Now that sound is not a warning sound telling you that they're about to come back to life. That sound means they are alive. Luckily you can just tuck in there and take them out from the side. So if you hear that sound, it's already too late. Tower C gives us the, the difficult philosophical question of when is a lift not a lift? I'll let you ruminate on that briefly until I tell you the answer. The main obstacle on this level is this single zapper, fixed zapper, and there's a lift right in front of it. And so obviously the answer to when is a lift not a lift is when it's a wall. It's not as funny as the as the door joke, but Shift the block and then destroy the uh, turret to let us put the lift back down. I like this level, this is a nice clean, clean and simple.
Cause and effect, so this may be the highlight of group one. In this level we have a walkway with two lifts surrounded by two zapper turrets, fixed zapper turrets, and a fixed pusher. We've got a force down, our zappers on the top and our grabbers down below. Might seem like the goal on this level isn't clear. So what we're gonna do is uh, have a look and see what happens if we use the force down. So the fixed zapper that's facing inwards destroys the other zapper and then itself, which clears the way for the pusher to move a block, which traps the grabber in. There's no way out for him, so we have to restart. So then you remember the rule that the force, the force down only works on lifts that are not occupied by a spider or by any object. So you think, right, well, maybe I have to block off one of these lifts. Nothing was destroyed when we dropped that one, but we're now stuck again. There's no way the zapper can get back down safely, and there's no way the grabber can get to the Klondike now. And then you might think, aha, if there's some way to block, stop this block from being pushed. Yes, you can stop the block being pushed. So this, the actual solution to this which is we're now seeing. This is the first time that a level has asked you to react in a particularly uh, quick way. So what we need to do is go to the, send our zapper to the end. Go down this lift manually. Because he's pinned in there by the zapper on the right. So we have to do some some fancy maneuvers now. Oh Yes, you have to hit the force down and then move as fast as you can. Get out of there to stop the block from trapping you in. And that's it. That's a tricky one. Trouble with lizards. So this level introduces the lizards. And they behave in quite a predictable but odd way. 
Let's see, there are two lizards here. With a block, and we'd simply have to get our grabber to the end up the lift to grab the Klondikes. Lizards are going to behave very similarly to worms, except they cannot be turned around by shooting them, and they can't be pushed either. And when lizards change direction... ...they destroy the tile they were on. See, so we've already failed this. So you think we push that block there, that'll stop that lizard from eating away the path, but he's already eaten too much of it. This is now impassable. I just want to show lizards will always, by nature of the way they behave, trap themselves on a single square. What their diegetic purpose is, I don't know, but uh, you can see here that there's no way that we can now move this block to clear the path for the grabber. So much like these lizards, we've trapped ourselves. So we have to try that again. There's only one way to win this level. And it is this. Yep. If you do anything other than move that block instantly, then you failed the level. You have to move that block to stop that lizard reaching the end. And this nearer one you can wait for. Just make sure you block that path with the pusher. And it's clear. Once that sound stops, you know those lizards have trapped themselves forever. What a strange existence. You probably realise then that any time that you're dealing with lizards, you're going to have to figure out ways to stop them from reaching certain areas. Because almost without fail, they will block you by destroying the floor. Teamwork on a spiral staircase. This is a fun one. Uh, we've got a time limit here. It's not too bad. As long as you keep keep your goal in sight, you'll be fine here. So it's actually not spiral staircases, but two spiral... Uh, I don't know what to describe these as. Monoliths surrounded by lifts. The only real trick to this is figuring out which one to move first. Each, each spider is going to have to destroy fixed zappers on the other spider's tower. So we have to start with the zapper. It's 
So let's talk a bit more about these lighting and uh, background effects. Obviously, this these aren't real time, you know, amazing lightning physics, but. Uh, They do have a. They do cast shadows like that. See, he steps into the shadow, and he steps into the light. It's a very nice touch. There is a lot of uh, good variety in this game in the graphics. You see the meteors going by in the background as well. We had the lightning storms earlier. We we often have rotating moons at different levels, different patterns. They really just went all out to, to make this uh, a visually interesting game. Which is good because my, my memory of a lot of these old 3D games is that they were very green. Oops, that's the, that's the wrong lift. I'll be getting on the wrong way after we've got to turn them it. You know, I remember a lot of flight sims which just had huge green like expanses of just green, solid green landscapes. So it's nice to see something which has this kind of colour variety. There we go. The tunnel. So this is a deceptively simple level. It's another time limit. It's also one where the time limit isn't Going to cause you many problems. So you might think your main issue here is these mines, yeah, but all they're really doing is blocking your way to the Klondikes from the top. We need to go down into the eponymous tunnel, get up there behind the mines between the two Klondikes. We are going to have to make a sacrifice. So we're going to grab us straight over through this tunnel. Another example of a nice shadow effect there. So once you grab this second Klondike, that pusher will move the grabber into the mine. But that will actually clear the way for the zapper. Shoot the flag. And you can see just how much time we have left there. So that's a deceptively simple level. Get them hoppers. So here is a level where the time limit is tight. And I mean very tight. Our goal is to destroy four objects, and there are four hoppers up there, but there's also a fixed zapper down here, which we're going to have to destroy to get up there. So we really actually need to kill three of the hoppers. 
So, use the force up straight away. Oh no, already making, uh, <laughs> already pressing the wrong buttons. It's a good start. Part of the problem of attacking hoppers to a time limit is the way they change directions is random. So you might think they're going to walk into your uh, beam range, but sometimes they just don't. You've got to get a bit lucky. Use the force down. So it's very simple. Use the force up to uh, block the zapper. Move it back down so the zapper can so our zapper can get up here. And shoot these hoppers, but it's not quite as simple as you'd think, because there's only one there's only one clear line that you can shoot. And with time ticking down. One, two, come on, come on, come on. Either one of you. Here we go. Whew. So this level is called a little more complex and I'm going to tell you now that I think the, the key to this level is they're trying to get you to overthink it. It's called a little more complex, it looks kind of complex but uh, we've got no time limit here so we can take all the time we need. Yeah so we've got a lot of zappers and we've got a lot of uh, pushes and a lot of blocks. We also have a new enemy robot here. Now this enemy robot is the Watcher. Moves similarly to the Hopper, it gets a little faster, but it's also indestructible and can't be pushed. And it doesn't do anything, it's not harmful. Uh, and on this level in particular, it is not going to even get in our way particularly because all we really have to do is move this block move the glass block the other block will be moved the glass block will move back all the fixed zappers are now destroyed simple as that and you'll notice the watchers on a path where it's not even going to come close to our spiders so we need to send our grabber up here Oops, that's not a lift. Grab this first Klondike. And then activate the force down. Now with no obstacles left, we just have to pop up here. And just move that block. So now our grabber can get that last Glendike and finish the group. That's it. So that was group one. In a lot of ways it seemed simpler than group zero. 
Although we had some highlights in there. And next time, obviously, we'll be tackling Group 2. Oh, things are going to start getting tricky. Hopefully you'll join us then. Thanks for watching.